crazy jacket. So I Casper, don't like monkeys. <laughs> Hi everyone, say hi Casper, say hi Josh, <laughs> welcome back to another vlog, so this is a bit of a random vlog because I'm starting it on a Friday, I was going to start it on Wednesday but it's now Friday and I didn't start it on Wednesday, are you coming to say hello, yeah, star of the show, so this week's vlog is a little bit different because we all have COVID in this house. So we tested positive on Tuesday slash Wednesday and it's already Friday. So we're not doing that bad to be honest. We, well I just keep going through like fits and starts of feeling really really tired and Josh had a bad day on Monday. But he didn't even know he had it at that point. Um, blah, 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 blah. We don't actually know if Casper's got it because it's inconclusive. But obviously he has to isolate anyway. So I guess it doesn't really matter. Casper's been ill for about two weeks now. So it either makes sense that he has got it and it's just like delayed him getting better or he's just still got like a bit of a viral infection he has got some antibiotics but but someone told me that you shouldn't be giving babies or you shouldn't take antibiotics if you've got covid so because i don't actually know if he's got covid or not i don't want to give them to him just yet so if it gets to next week after our isolation period ends and he's still got a really bad cough then I will obviously give him the antibiotics, but I just don't feel like I want to give him them yet. But he is doing so much better. So over the weekend, he was really, really bad. He was waking up all the time, through the night, coughing, choking, just like constant snot all the time. So yeah, he's doing a lot better. He's got so much energy. He's literally like a wild child right now. So the house is it's not a full mess it's a little bit of a mess but it, obviously we're living in it all day every day at the minute so it can't be perfectly tidy but i'm just trying to sort things out that i don't usually have time to sort out like my wardrobe just putting everything away neatly again sorting out things for charity things for depop ebay i've cleaned casper's car seat out because obviously he's not going in it for a while so that's really nice and clean i'm just gonna show you i literally all, I mean, it's not perfectly clean, but this is it now. I just left it in the sun to dry yesterday. But it was absolutely filthy. It was just covered in, like, six stains from when he was, like, a tiny baby. And I just never cleaned it because we use it every single day. So I just didn't have the time to clean it. So it does look a lot better. Again, it's not perfect, but it'll do for now. Like, it just looks a lot nicer. I've sorted things out, like drawers, stuff like that, so... Yeah, all I used to clean that was the Milton baby spray, like cleansing spray and some, and scrub daddy. I just wet a scrub daddy and I just sort of scrubbed that together. So the rest of the week, or the rest of the weekend and then the beginning of next week, we're both just obviously trying to work online a little bit. I've got quite a little bit of content to get. So I'm just going to have to use the garden for that. We just don't obviously have a lot on because there's nothing for us to really be doing. So I'm just going to make the most of my time, like I've said, and just try and be as productive as possible and just getting things done around the house and just make use of, obviously, Josh being at home and looking after Casper as well. So I think the rest of today I'm going to wash my makeup brushes and also put some stuff on ebay slash depop and then tomorrow i'm gonna try and get some content because it's the weekend tomorrow even though we're obviously stuck inside i do kind of feel like it is the weekend and we will still kind of treat it like one um i mean i might try and get someone to drop us off a starbucks <laughs> or a costa 
Oh, I'll just try and get it. I wonder if Deliveroo would post this far. I really don't think they would. Our Starbucks is like 20 minutes away. Um, but my lovely friend Erin dropped us one off yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. So I might see if someone will, or I might just try and get it delivered. But we're gonna just like order a Sky Cinema movie, order a takeaway, and then I'm gonna try and get some content like put more fake tan on tonight dress up a little bit and get some more content out in the garden i've got some parcels to show you so i might do that tomorrow but i'm literally just gonna have a bit of a covid vlog just to sort of bring to light every day how we feel josh has lost his smell and taste but i have not lost mine yet so i'm hoping that i don't but i'm thinking that i will because everyone we know that's got it has gradually like lost it and i feel like it's my turn next because i was the last one to find out that i've got it so i feel like maybe the day is tomorrow so i don't know whether to eat as much nice things as i can today to make most of my taste because some people have said that the taste literally doesn't come back for months which is just quite scary really i really don't want to not have taste buds for months but we will see so i'll catch up with you when i'm getting up to something exciting and yeah just a week in the life of a covid household i swear to god this child has turned crazy where's mummy's little placid boy gone where's he gone he is just a hundred miles an hour we have called him lightning mcqueen today because he is just going everywhere he will not sit still he's got ants in his pants he's going for things that he shouldn't be so anyone else's baby since they've started crawling just become <laughs> crazy you are crazy boy yes you are but you also very gorgeous aren't you very 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 gorgeous yeah yes you are yes you are so josh is currently training outside we've literally just had 10 minutes outside together <laughs> just walking around the garden and making casper laugh giving him some fresh air and now i am there he is look dad bought at the window he's disappeared now I am just watching a little bit of YouTube whilst Casper just crawls around going a little bit crazy. So I would sit and play with him, but he's honestly just not interested. He just wants to go everywhere right now. It's only about half past four, I think. Oh no, it might be about quarter to five now. Yeah, but it's about quarter to five and we've said we're going to have tea before Casper goes to bed so that we can eat tea. Like he can eat the same as us because usually when we're both working or Josh is at work, obviously, we have tea when Casper's in bed. So it would be nice for us to eat tea as a family and try and eat the same thing. We're having chicken sausage pasta, which is one of our favourite meals. So what I'm going to do is just cook one sausage in the oven. We usually do it in the pan, but we do it in like small circles. And obviously I don't want to give that to Casper. So I'm going to cook a sausage in the pan and just like slice it straight and then just give him a little bit of pasta and sauce and if he doesn't really eat it's fine i'll just give him a little bit of fruit or a little fruit pouch because he still has quite a lot of milk so i'm not fully bothered if he doesn't eat like all his food but honestly i can't believe there is how many days have we got left saturday sunday monday tuesday saturday sunday monday tuesday wednesday five days left five days left buddy in the house but josh only has four days left because he obviously got symptoms before me so i think he yeah he's got four yeah he's got four days and i've got five days <laughs> Hi everyone, it is Saturday now and it's about 22 and we are just sat watching TV 
not doing a lot there's nothing to do obviously it is raining as well so we can't even go and sit in the garden we said that one of the things we were going to do is go and sit out in the garden but it's chucking it down so we're not going to do that oh, i'm just feeling really really tired like today's probably the tiredest stuff that i've felt since having it but i don't know if that's because we're putting on channel 66 I don't know if it's just because I've been obviously inside and not doing anything because that does make you tired. I'm not sure really but I do just feel really tired and I'm also really really hungry. But Josh's mum has just dropped off some supermarket pizzas for us to have tonight and some ice cream even though Josh has still lost his taste buds. But I fortunately have not. And yeah, it's it's just pretty boring. <laughs> Not gonna lie. It doesn't really feel like the weekend at all. I was meant to be having um a parcel arrive either yesterday or today, so then I was gonna show you Casper's Zara order and my order. But it's not arrived yet, which I do find a little bit weird. Oh no, wait, your order is out for delivery. Oh. Maybe it will arrive today then. If it arrives today, I will show you all tomorrow. And... Hiya, mister. What are you doing? What are you doing, cheekies? So, me and Casper have just had a little snooze on the sofa together. Whilst Josh was training. And I'm now just watching a little bit more YouTube. So I'm absolutely exhausted today. Like this is honestly the tiredest I have been through the whole throughout like the whole COVID infection period. I've not really felt like really bad any of the days. I would say Tuesday morning was the worst for me. Which was the the morning that I actually did my test but today wow I am so tired my chest feels like it's done a massive workout you know when you've done like a big workout and like you're you feel like you've done loads and loads of cardio and your heart and your chest has been stretched a little bit and then you get home and it, <coughs> it still kind of feels like that that's how I feel like I just feel like I've done like a really 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 big workout but yeah, um, hopefully by tomorrow I don't feel as tired because I'm hoping that it's going to be quite sunny tomorrow as well. Well, not sunny, but just not raining. And then I can get the footage. And then I can get the content that I want to get for Instagram. What's it saying? Yeah, so, well, it's meant to be the same as today, actually. A little bit of sun, a little bit of rain. Tuesday is going to be the best day. It says sun and clouds but no rain. Ooh. So I might have to hold out until Tuesday although I can't believe it. Look how tired I actually look. Oh my god. I've obviously got no makeup on though. So I don't look as great as what I could if I had makeup on. Yeah. So yeah, I might have to hold out till Tuesday, but it's obviously only like late Saturday afternoon. And then I've still got Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So four days after this. But I'm hoping, wow. I'm hoping it goes nice and quickly. I can't wait to have some pizzas tonight. Josh's brother is apparently on the way with some coffees from Starbucks for us and he's going to drop them off on the doorstep, but it's now half free and they said they'd be here. Like, I don't even know, but I need coffee. But I, I don't, like, obviously I'm not complaining because it's nice of them and we wouldn't have it if it wasn't for them, but I need a coffee. But I don't want it to be too... How would my time think I have yawned? I don't want it to be too close to bedtime because I also don't like drinking coffee too late in the day. 
Right, I'm feeling a little bit more human now and I am just going to put the washing out but unfortunately in the house because it's still raining so I've just popped Casper up here on the landing in his bouncer because he's not to be trusted anywhere else and I'm just going to pop the washing out. exciting part of our week now is having Saturday night pizza and Big Sea Dog's had a little bit of Philadelphia toast and now he's on his favourite raspberries. You love raspberries don't you? Yes you do mister. So it's only half five but I wanted an early pizza night or tea night because then we just have longer to eat other things and it's just obviously going to be the most exciting part of the week. <laughs> Is this the chicken arabiata one? Mm. Mm. And also, it's bath time tonight for Casper, so I wanted to make sure that we'd eat in our pizza. Then we can bath Casper, put him to bed, and then mum and dad can eat lots of dessert. even though dad can't taste it. So it's now Sunday and me and Casper are just playing with some toys whilst Josh is washing his car. So we have a new exciting business venture and we basically need a van. So Josh is selling his car and it's just josh just has like a little run around but he absolutely loves it bless him it costs like i think it was two and a half grand and he is now gonna sell it so he's actually a little bit gutted but we are not are we casper no i'm joking i really don't mind it but yeah he's basically washing his car now because he's gonna um take loads of pictures and get it sold while we're at home we might as well do as many things as productive as possible but this morning we were both so so tired so casper he slept all right but at like half 12 this morning he was just wide awake and he we brought him into our bed and he just started crawling around the bed so we had to put him back in his cot because it was literally dangerous so we are both tired and we both ended up having a nap at around half nine when he went down his nap but then the washing machine was on and it was really really loud and I think it woke him up because he was awake after an hour which he usually does about two hours so I'm hoping that he has a longer afternoon nap and then when he has that longer afternoon nap I'm just going to get some stuff done I might even film the little misguided and Zara haul then or I might do that in a minute actually I might do it while Casper's up there with me because he likes looking at new things so he can play with the packaging and play with his labels and stuff like that so yeah again a bit of a chilled one what else can we do there's nothing else for us to be doing it's really hard trying to keep the house tidy as well because you're obviously in it all the time. I thought that it would be like really clean. So I was like, oh, we're going to be at home all day, every day. The house can be really clean, but it isn't. The only thing is that things are getting done. Like the washing basket is nearly at the bottom, which is amazing. And I've put like clothes away so that hopefully when life goes back to normal next week, there'll be no like huge piles of clothes to be putting away. And then just getting like all the bits done that I don't usually find the time to do. Like I obviously washed my makeup brushes the other day. Where are you going, Mr. Georges? He is obsessed with wires at the minute. So he just finds a wire and then he's off. Casper, what have you got there? A plug. That's not for you, is it? <gasps> no. Ah, ah, ah. Casper. Ah, 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 no. No. <laughs> Cheekies. I swear to God, babies are just mental when they get past like eight months old. Well, nine months old, I don't really know, but 
I can't even wait for the toddler life. How people have a toddler and a newborn baby is absolutely beyond me. But people do it and I'm sure I will do it one day as well. So yeah, I've just been playing with Casper. I've just uploaded a YouTube video for me packing away with Casper. So packing away to go away with a baby. Packing to go away with a baby, sorry. So that should be up by the end of today, which is, what is it, Sunday the 16th of May? Yeah. But obviously by the time you've watched this, it'll have been up quite a while, so... I'm quite late at editing videos at the minute, but again, because Josh is home a lot this week, I'm hoping that I can get this video edited by, like, Wednesday, and then it can try and be up for Thursday, so I will have more than one upload a week. Oh, sorry, should I say I will have more than one upload in two weeks? It's just been so hard to film and upload videos whilst life's gone back to normal. Like, I just feel like it's just... I just feel like we went from being stuck at home in like the January, February, March lockdown to just all of a sudden everything just going like 100 miles an hour. And obviously I've tried to enjoy life as much as possible, get us both out of the house and it's really hard to say no to plans. Obviously I'm working now one day a week too, so what are you doing, misters? Hi guys, I am here with Casper's Zara order. So this is all in 12 to 18 months, so it won't fit in for, well actually I feel like some of the stuff will fit in, but some of the stuff won't. I feel like their joggers and bottoms are really big, but the t-shirts and tops aren't that big. So he has nothing in this size, so this is why I just did a little bit of an order. I'm just going to shut the door so that he can't get out, because he can crawl down the stairs. So the first few things I've got are these gorgeous little joggers. So they've got like a nice little stitching down the middle. So I've got them in this beautiful stone colour. And then I also got them in khaki as well. So they did have some tie-dye joggers on Zara which I really, really wanted. And I tried to get them a few months ago. And when I put them into my basket and then checked out, they were out of stock. And then it, the same happened to me again this time. So I just thought I would get these in the same same style but different colours. So they've got like a nice cuff at the bottom. And I just thought they were a nice pair of oversized joggers. Hopefully by the time he wears them, he will be walking. So they'll look really nice while he's walking. So they are literally just £8.99. A pair which I really do not think is bad at all and then the only other pair of bottoms that I got were these gorgeous little dinosaur patterned leggings so I love leggings on little boys I just honestly think that they're really sweet I don't think there's anything feminine about them at all and again these are huge they're bigger than the joggers they are really really long they don't look it from there but honestly like they are probably the biggest leggings I've ever seen for a baby of 12 to 18 months and again I think he will be walking by the time he's wearing these so I just thought how cute would these look with like a little jumper oversized jumper slash jacket and then some like big chunky trainers I love that they've still got like the babiness to them but they're also trendy so I love like the dinosaur pattern I think wearing them with an outfit with like an oversized jumper and then like a nice pair of Nikes you've got like the trendiness of the nikes and the oversized jumper but then you've kind of got like the babiness still in the leggings so yeah they were the last pair of like bottom things that i got and they were 8.99 as well and then top wise i got this gorgeous zip up jacket so i got this thinking that they'd look lovely with these leggings so again like that outfit with just some little oversized trainers i just think is gorgeous so yeah this was 12.99 and it's really really nice quality it is very different it's different color to the joggers so it won't actually go with the joggers that i bought but that wasn't the intention i just thought it would look nice with leggings obviously those leggings and different ones as well so yeah it's a really nice oversized zip up jumper and it's got little pockets in it as well and then i also bought another jumper so this is an oversized jumper this was 9.99 and it's just this gorgeous blue sweater with like a little ribbed triangle 
effect around the collar again i think this will fit in fine in like a month or two like being oversized even though it's 12 to 18 months because by the yeah so by the time you wash things as well i always do think that they just shrink a little bit even though i try to wash all of casper's things on a 30 degree wash but they do just tend to shrink a little bit so that is another sweater and then i have just got two t-shirts so the first one i've got is this beautiful like fluorescent limey green and it says a great day is coming so this has been on the website for absolutely ages and this is what they have on the website with the tie-dye joggers so that's why i really wanted the tie-dye joggers but unfortunately they don't have them but i do i did think that it would look nice with the stony plain joggers so i'm hoping that by sort of like july time or august september these clothes will fit him and he will just look really trendy in the summer like on an evening if it's quite warm or even in the day if it's not too warm and then lastly i just got this plain stone t-shirt with a little pocket effect on so i thought these would look nice with the khaki colored joggers and also to be fair it would still look nice with the stone joggers as well because they're just like two tones so as he's getting older i just wanted some more like trendy things for him because he's going to be starting to like walk and he'll have chunkier trainers on at the minute he still just wears like um pram shoes but i'm hoping that we can get him some like nice chunky trainers with like the proper platforms on not platforms but like you know like the proper base so i just thought that all these trendy clothes will look nice with some proper trainers so this t-shirt was 3.99 and this t-shirt was also no this one was 5.99 so yeah that is casper's little mini haul for hopefully like july august september time he's in nine to 12 month clothing now so i'm hoping that he will have a bit of a growth spurt it's just like the bottoms they just seem so big and long again like they don't look it but they really do just seem huge but i guess they are probably more for like the oversized look and the tops i feel like he will grow into these quicker than the bottoms but we'll just have to see i'm sure as he gets older i will get more of a hang of what sizing he needs and what so for example if i wanted him to wear these in the summer he might need like a certain size in t-shirts and then a certain size in bottoms but yeah that is his Zara order done please don't chew that and then i thought i would quickly just show you my misguided order so i am lucky enough to receive a gift voucher from misguided every single month for me to advertise on my instagram and youtube so this is not a paid collaboration it is just a gifted collaboration so i'm not obliged to post this on my youtube but i just thought why not there's nothing else to do in lockdown so i thought i would just include it in this vlog so firstly i got this tiered smock dress it's in a gorgeous sagey oh well that was silly oh my God. <laughs> I don't know if anyone just saw that, but he just flicked the box in his head. <laughs> oh, silly. Oh, silly. See you okay, huh? Yeah. Are you okay? <laughs> Mister? <laughs> Look, why don't you show everyone all these clothes with me? So, it is like a sagey green <clears throat> smock dress, and it was don't know how much it was actually but it's a size 10 i just thought i need you know i need some dresses in case it is going to be a bit of a summer for us and we are planning on going on a holiday at some point so now in my misguided order when i do like a free order every month i'm really trying to avoid loungewear because i just do not need any more i need more clothes in my wardrobe like this when like i might go out for the day or i might last minute go out for lunch or for tea and if it's like a really sunny i just feel like i've got like not that much to wear i just feel like my wardrobe is just full of loungewear at the minute i then got a plain black vest race back top so it's kind of cropped but i just thought it would look fine with some high-waisted jeans 
and I would have worn something like this two years ago with my midriff out but now I would like my jeans or my trousers to meet here so that you can see nothing in the middle but yeah just a plain basic top can't go wrong bit of a wardrobe filler wear it under shirts or under like I don't know under a shirt or a coat or a cardigan or even just on its own if it's sunny I then got another top so it's a similar style but this one is ribbed again it's a, just a bit of another filler item for the wardrobe this one is actually really soft and it's a lot longer as well so it's not as cropped but it's like a lemon yellow colour and it's just a ribbed material and again I just thought it would look nice with jeans or denim shorts or something like that for the summer I'm not usually like a massive fan of Are you okay I'm not usually a massive fan of yellow but I do feel like this summer that all these colours are coming in so I am looking forward to wearing it I feel like you have to be very tanned and sort of done up properly to be able to get away with yellow like I wouldn't wear yellow now it would just make me look really washed out even though I've tried to avoid the loungewear I always can't avoid like a nice sweater I'm just obsessed with sweaters and this one just really stood out to me so I've ordered this USA sweater it's like a two-tone colour so we've got like the navy on one side and then grey and I just thought you can't go wrong with a sweater to just throw on for the supermarket for the Starbucks order for you know that quick coffee date for someone a nice walk outside with a pair of leggings or a pair of jeans and I just like that it's oversized as well so I got this in a size 10 to make it quite oversized I think in fact everything in this order is a size 10 because I my body has changed and I've got wider hips now I've got more of a mum tum so I want to wear like a clothes that just a little bit bigger to just hide all of that I feel like I actually got a lot this time for my money which is really really good sometimes I feel like I can only order like four things I then got these stone flannelly not flannel stone jogger shorts so they are called jogger short basic but again i just thought yeah they'd be good basic for summer and i also thought that go with the black top that i've got so these will come quite high on my waist and then i can wear the little racerback crop sort of top with them and then just some like trainers and just sort of have like a bit of a cool summer outfit i'm hoping i'm praying that we have some sun but this is something that i would literally just wear on holiday with a pair of sliders or a pair of flip-flops as well i then got some more socks so i don't think at the minute you can beat a pair of like long socks to go with trainers or even like sliders i just think they're such an in-trend thing and I thought that they were like a similar colour to these shorts, although they're not really, but yeah, anyway. I just thought they were quite cute and they'd look nice above some white trainers so that just like the stone and the white stripes are sticking out. And then lastly, I got two things. So I bought this as an outfit to wear for my friend's birthday at the end of the month. So I've got a pair of denim mom shorts so they are ripped mum shorts i'm absolutely obsessed with mum shorts and because i have quite thick thighs if i don't buy mum shorts the denim like shorts proper stick to my leg and i really don't like it they make my legs look bigger than what they are because i've got quite muscly thighs even though i've not really been training properly for over a year now i've still got quite muscly thighs so i thought with these they'd actually hopefully make my legs look quite thin because they'll be baggy over my legs so these are the high rated mum shorts recycled mum shorts and then lastly to go with the mum short gorgeous padded white blazer so again it's more of a filler wardrobe filler I just think you can wear a white blazer with so many things 
and it's just one of them staple things that you need in your wardrobe i feel like everyone needs a black and a white blazer and maybe like a stone or a khaki one everyone needs a pair of mum shorts everyone needs a pair of good jeans everyone needs like a few little tops like this that you can wear with anything and hide under oh. things so i actually got this in a size eight because i I, it was a boyfriend blazer and I didn't want it to be like too big oh. so my outfit idea is the white blazer the mum shorts and either the black top or the lemon top and then I've got a pair of like black mule heels from misguided so I probably will wear the black one just because I'll have black heels on so black top mum shorts and a white blazer and then some black mule shorts so yeah I tried to order things that were more like wardrobe fillers rather than just one-off pieces that I will wear once and want to get rid of. Like I know that I will wear this white blazer throughout all of the summer. I know that I will wear denim mum shorts throughout the summer and I can wear with other things. I just wanted things I could wear over and over again and style differently. So obviously mum shorts I can wear with like a crop top, I could wear with a shirt, I can wear with a blazer these little tops i can wear with jeans i can wear with joggers i can wear with shorts again the same then these shorts i can wear around the house but i can also style it as like a nice out outfit you know like if i was going out for the day to say somewhere like the zoo and it was really sunny or for holiday so i just tried to buy more like filler wardrobe fillers like things like statement pieces that i will keep for quite a long time and again like this dress I just think it's nice to have a few nice quality dresses in your wardrobe that you just if you kind of feel like you've got nothing to wear and you think oh that dress actually quite suits me I'll just shove that on with some sliders or you could wear it with socks and trainers or you could even wear it with like heels so just things that I can wear like different differently at different times and then obviously you just can't beat a sweater because again you can wear it with joggers shorts leggings jeans trainers sliders anything so yeah that is my misguided order and then that is obviously casper's zara order too so that has been the most exciting part about my sunday i was going to um get myself kind of done up today do my hair and makeup and take some actual content but it was raining this morning so i just thought no i'll do it tomorrow but it does actually look like it's coming quite sunny now so if i do actually get myself done up and shoot some content i will make sure that i film it <laughs> we're now on tuesday so i haven't vlogged since sunday and i have spent most of the day cleaning the house not that you can even tell it might be a little bit messy but it's thoroughly cleaned <gasps> hiya mr casper he's got you <laughs> So today's been the nicest day weather-wise that I think we've actually had since being in isolation. And I've done my makeup, washed my hair because I need to try and take some content. It just keeps going like in and out of being sunny and rainy. Oh, cool cam. Come on then, big boy. Oh, bless him. Yeah, so today is quite a nice day i have got the washing out but it does keep raining every now and again so i'm going to try and get casper down for another nap and then i'm going to try and get josh to get me some content before he starts training so i just need to take a picture with an outfit and also just a fizzy drink that I've, from a drinks company that i have been working with so that's like quite a long um collaboration i've got like quite a few things to do for them and it's just really annoying because i love the drinks but i can't taste it because i've completely lost my taste buds now so that's fun and games although i do feel like they have come back a little bit today but yesterday i completely lost them and i think i lost my sense of smell as well because i couldn't ever smell when casper had done a poo um but yeah this little kid wow he is just like a full-blown whirlwind he is mental but i've cleaned the dining room table i've vacked all the floor i've dusted everywhere i've cleaned the cushions but obviously you can't tell because there is casper's toys 
everywhere. And then kitchen wise, there is a spin bike right in the middle of it. So the floor is filthy, but I have cleaned all the sides. There's just this little bit of washing up to do and then I've cleaned all on here. We do have a cleaner, but obviously she's not coming because we have COVID. So she was meant to come last Wednesday. She was meant to come last Wednesday, but she will be coming a week tomorrow now. So I just thought I need to just do a little bit of a clean because it's not going to last. In fact, not that it's going to last. It was awful. It needed cleaning. And there was no way that I wasn't cleaning it properly until next week. Because we have a cleaner every two weeks, I do tend to just like give it a little bit of a wipe over. But it needed like a thorough Sorry. clean. Casper. Casper is obsessed with the wheels on this spin bike. I don't know why it keeps going blurry. It's really annoying. We just... Oh, I'm washing. <laughs> we just... Oh, I'm washing. <laughs> we just... Walk through I'm washing. Look at your crazy hair. Big boy, like a little cockatoo. Honestly, I am so glad that we are out of this lockdown. Well, not lockdown, out of this um, isolation after tomorrow. Because honestly, this kid is just mental. I can't wait to get him out of the house. He's just trying to stand up on everything. He's pulling everything on top of himself. He's falling over. He's covered in cuts and bruises. And I just can't wait to... <laughs> Hi, mister. Is that you? I just can't wait to get him even just out in the pram for a walk. Or we've booked soft play on Friday, so that's exciting. But yeah, he's just crazy. Come here then. The living room is an absolute state. The best part of the day, other than obviously playing with Casper all day, is putting the toys away at the end of the day because this just is just too much for me. Too much colour, bud. It makes even a clean and tidy house look untidy. And this is actually the cleanest our house has been in weeks because I left this on there, which is not a good idea. Mr. Casper George, who do you think you are? No. Oh my goodness me. Ah, ah, ah. You are a monkey's. Look, you've undone all these now. This little chap is a little monkey's. Casper de la Monkeys, is that what we call you? Casper de la Monkeys. Casper de la Monkeys. Casper de la Monkeys. You are a crazy, crazy monkey. <gasps> you are a crazy, crazy monkey. <coughs> oh dear me. I'm tired, aren't you? He's also not slept enough today at all. As you can tell, because he's tired. One more day of torture. What do you reckon to that? You're ready to get out of this house. The worst thing is, Josh is allowed to leave the house tomorrow because he obviously got his results before we did and he comes out of isolation tomorrow. So it's just me and Casper stuck in the house again tomorrow, but he will be around he's not working, but he's just obviously going to go to like the supermarket and stuff like that. <laughs> Um, because the house is empty of food it's a proper mother hubbards so that'll be the most exciting part of my day will josh coming back from will be josh coming back from the supermarket i would love him to take casper but i don't think he can i can't remember if casper's under his isolation or my isolation but i'll just keep him at home anyway because you do like the supermarket don't you mr georgie's Happy Wednesday everyone, Josh has officially left the house, 
he has been for his hair cutting this morning and he's now gone for a massage and then he's gonna go to the supermarket later as well and he's gonna take this little champ with him because on the track and trace they said to Josh that Casper can isolate for as long as Josh can so he's gonna take him to the supermarket which will be nice for me just to give me like an hour's break and i know it'll be really nice for casper as well he'll absolutely love being out of the house i do feel really sorry for him that he's been stuck inside all this time like i do think he just wants to get out it's just you're just a little nightmare aren't you ah, 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 no the saying goes you literally need eyes in the back of your head and it is so 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 true i do need eyes in the back of my head Honestly, I know, I think I probably said it yesterday, but this ledge, it's not the fact that he's touching it and he's on it, it doesn't bother me. It's the fact that if he fell and hit his chin on here whilst falling and obviously like slammed his jaw up, that is what we're more worried about. I'm not bothered him like touching things, like he'll learn obviously that he's not allowed to touch it. I just don't want him to fall and hit himself. Mr. Walkies. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> you are my little whirlwind one more day bud and we can be released out into the wild isn't that exciting so i just thought i would come on and finalize the vlog because we are finally free it feels absolutely amazing to be able to just get out of the house get into the car like go places so casper is at my mum's because he obviously hasn't seen them for about nine days and yeah super exciting nice for life to be going back to normal i'm just sorting a few little bits out and then i am going to go on a walk yeah i just thought i would come and say <laughs> goodbye to this vlog hopefully it never ever happens again so hopefully we get to the point where obviously loads of people are vaccinated and then it gets the same sort of strength as the flu and it only comes around like once a year and people don't need to isolate they just have to stay at home if they don't feel very well but they could still go out in the car or they could still go to the supermarket if they really want to and they can still just kind of do what they want as long as they're not making themselves any iller so yeah thank you so much for watching guys i will see you in my next vlog because now that life's back to normal a little bit i am going to be doing a lot more vlogs because i just find them easier to film and i actually just enjoy filming vlogs i don't know why i look so pale i think it's because i am laid in front of the window so thank you so much for watching guys please make sure you hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys in my next vlog or video